Next, Electro Harmonics Bad Stone, which is a phase shifter. Uh, yeah, this is like brand new. Never used this really before. So, it's got two settings, auto or manual. Put it on auto. Again, let's go for putting everything pretty much in the middle position. And let's turn it on. Kind of nice sweeping sound coming out. Like if you, um, if you kind of to make a noise in your mouth and go meow, meow, and change the shape of your mouth. That's kind of the thing it's doing. So, so you hear that sweeping sound. We can speed up the sweep. And you can sound, turn up the feedback. cracking that's quite a interesting noise and then you've got manual so if you put it on manual you can just set the sweeps so it's a little bit like a wah so it's very bassy sort of hollow tounding up to middly quite tinny and back again so you can almost decide if you want a particular tone, then you can just patch that in. So, next one, Memory Boy, another electro harmonic. So I do like my electro harmonics. Got the uh, Metal Muff, Bad Stone, the Memory Boy, and that uh, Looper is an electro harmonics as well. Um, okay, Memory Boy, this is kind of quite crazy. Um, we'll do a whole video just on this. So. This is an analog delay. It's quite an interesting sound. It's got a lot of depth there. You can use this just as a delay pedal. If you turn the depth. So it's just giving you a bit of echo there, some weird feedback. I've also got this linked to this, which is an expression pedal, which changes the delay length from long delay to short delay. If we turn up the feedback there, you can get some really... And then put it on the vibrato. Okay, and uh, then I've got a fairly simple digital delay. Gives us some echoes. Effect level. How loud the echo is. Feedback, how many echoes you get. <laughs> if you put it on minimum, you only get one echo. And then the more you go up, you can change the delay time. We're on 300 milliseconds, so now I can go to...
That's two and a half second delay. And then you've got a fine tune. Includes a reverse one. Which is this one there. If we get rid of the, uh, turn it up to maximum. Well, short delay, lots of feedback. Get sounding du quite dubby. That's not even all of that. There's so much on there. So just one pedal you can do. Heaps. Okay. Last one, it's a reverb. Um, let's just put it on a simple setting. So again, let's go for halves. All the way along, we're on number one. Quite a short reverb there. Turn up the decay. How long the slight echo lasts for level how much you get. So that's number one, which is room. Two is plate. So that's sort of the old mechanical, electromechanical reverbs based on a steel plate vibrating. Next one, number three, hall. Yeah, pleasant. Four is a church. Yeah, that's nice. And then five is gate. It cuts off the reverb, builds up and then cuts, builds up and cuts. Six is a reverse reverb. Again, if we turn the level up to max, you're only getting the reverb, reverse reverb. You're not hearing the clean sound at all. So this is all wet. That's a good phrase they use in pedals. It's like the difference between dry. Dry is the tone you get out. So that's dry. That's just wet. And if we change the level, we get the mix dry and wet. And then seven is a spring reverb, which I love spring reverb. You get nice plinky ploppy sounds with a spring reverb. So that's it, that's the pedal board. What we can do, I just showed them one at a time, you can use them all together. So let's pop a bit of reverb on. I quite like that one. Let's add some phase shift in. Ooh, yeah. Bit of chorus. And let's wah. What's it like with the delay? A bit of a drive on that. Oh, there's a lot of feedback in there, isn't there? Ooh. 
Take the chorus out, the phase. Just add the overdrive. Bit of wah. Let's just clear that. Remember, remind us where we were to start with. Very simple little melody. And just by adding in. Oh, let's put that back into sweep. And then a bit of that. rapidly sounds like something completely different. Oof, pretty angry. Hey, <laughs> there we go, a little finale, I like that. That's good fun. Um, yeah, just it's just interesting what you can get out of pedals. It really is. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a black hole. You can dive down and spend vast amounts of cash. But, well, I spent 60 quid on a guitar and then I spent 60 quid on each pedal. <laughs> so, or less, you know. While well, I was 25 quid, that was only 25, I think. That was 70, that was probably 60. Well, it might be the 80. I think I only paid 60 for that. So, do you know what? Yeah, don't have to break the bank. You just build them up bit by bit. The pedal board was cool, just some bits of wood roughly nailed together with a uh, load of Velcro stuck on there. And then all the pedals are just Velcroed on. Yeah, leads. Yeah, a bit of money on leads. Happy days. Well, I enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you did.